Hello Patriot League fans and welcome to this women's basketball edition of Patriot League Roundup. Three of the top four teams from last season opened the league slate with wins on Saturday as American, Army, Lehigh and Navy all started 1-0. However, only one of those four teams boasted a weekly award winner. The Anaconda Player of the Week is Anna Simmers of Army who averaged 20.5 points in two games last week. She poured in a career best 27 points at Bucknell, the highest point total scored by any Patriot Leaguer this season. The Anaconda Rookie of the Week is Emily Homan of Lafayette. Homan scored 16 points and had 5 rebounds in Lafayette's 60-55 loss to Navy on Saturday. She also had 6 points and 11 rebounds in a Lafayette non-league win over Columbia last week. The defending league champion mids trailed early on the road, but they rallied to fend off the Leopards on Saturday in Easton, Pennsylvania. Let's go to Lafayette Sports Network for the call. down the perimeter jump shots consistently, their chances today are going to be terrific. This week. Inside, Danielle, no, boy, you didn't have to jump, John. No, I know, there's no defense for that. Oh, nice look inside. Boy, that's a nice play, Peabody. Need to wait till the second half to throw this 2-3 at him, but maybe they can wait. Daniel Fiaco. That was a perfect illustration, Gary, of what happens. Holman got that rebound. Puts it back up and in. Emily Holman will go to the line. Fence inside. Well, here's the battle. What do you do? Well, you do that. Nice job. Bianco out. McGlory in for her. There's a nice little play. Strong rebound inside by Dyke. Up and a nice back cut. And this is a different Navy team right now. Like Gary Lafayette's going to try to stem the tide here with the offensive firepower of Navy. Uh, they're going to do that. First half. Way outside, back to back threes, uh-oh. Audrey Bauer starting to feel it. Breno comes up with it. She'll kick it out for a three. Edwards will drain in the rim and then like, let your big kids go to work. Got to find her. And wow. will drop again. Audrey Bauer, three for the last three. As down it's so what a play by Samantha Jordan. Just, whoa, something went wrong there. That was much too easy. He's a freshman, 5'9". Holman working against Knight. Knight wins the battle. And Navy now with their largest lead. Back cut up in. Navy held on to win 60-55 Saturday, battling back from 16 points down to defeat Lafayette. Audrey Baller and Kara Pollinger each scored 18 points and Jay Guyf had 10. Emily Holman led the Leopards with 16 points. The year prior to that wound up five and nine, certainly a, an unusual two-year run for the play. Really dominating the offseason because we're all playing those tough teams. Lepley lines up a three. A number of Patriot League championships. Yeah. There's O'Reilly tarred to the basket. Katie O'Reilly, the freshman. I think you're going to see so many of these games that are going to come down to the last couple of minutes. There again, we're looking inside right away. Three yeah. opportunity. Kalila Blake has checked in for Lehigh, number 35. Lepley hard to the basket to rack up another deuce. Hard in high school to a five spot in the Patriot League. There's Emily Grouch. They work the high low. The Three is down the well. That one courtesy Alex Smith. And now Weaver inside once again to Williams. And the perimeter, excellent ball movement. I was going to say, looking a little ragged on both ends here now as Thuman By Oric, spotting up for three. Yes! With Williams controlling the rebound. Weaver now in a hurry at the offensive end. Turns the corner, lays it up and in. Approaching 4-35. Weaver finds an opening left side and lays it up and in off the window. Weaver finished with a team-high 20 points as Lehigh overcame an early deficit to win 75-60 on Saturday. Alexa Williams chipped in with 14 points, and Amy Leptley led the Crusaders with 22 points. Coach had us doing, um, we had homework this week. Uh, <laughs> even though we're not in class, we still had homework. We had to do 1,000 shots on our own and 500 extra free throws, and I mean, it really paid off. So it's always good seeing hard work pay off, and that's across the board. Has it far away in front of her. She gives it to Romine at the top of the key. Romine swings near corner. Three is up from Voss and it falls through. She's playing in her 14th. Did not get the start tonight. 
Anna Simmers, far wing, dribbles up and gets the reverse layup. Far wing as Army attacks the basket to our left in this first half. Anna Simmers back to the basket, far block going up, turning around, up and good. Motioning her hands. Now it's passed to Hazlett at the point. Simmers picks it back up though. Benedict stepping up for three from the point up and of Army napping on the back end. Now a three from Molly Yardley from the far corner. Seven to shoot for Army. Simmers, three dribbles with the left hand in the middle of the lane. Pass far corner, three pointer up from Hazlett, and it's good. It's Jen Hazlett at the point. Bounce pass inside, far block. Simmers going up and over a little mine on the far wing. Romine inside. Mabata back to the basket, spins, drop step with the right foot. Mabata taking it near elbow, passing off for Voss. Voss wide open three, bouncing around the rim and dropping through. Simmers bringing it down for Army. Drives into the lane over Mabata near block. In the man, now Mabata isolation will dribble into the lane, spin dribble and scoop it. Seven to shoot for Simmers. Dribbles with the left hand of the far block, falling away, layup off glass and good. For Hazlett, can she make it 20? Misses the shot. Mabata getting the rebound underneath the basket. Now six seconds left. Mabata passing up for Dunn. A three point game. Dunn driving out down the far side. Jumper from just inside the arc, far wing. It's no good. Anna Simmers paved the way for Army, ending a seven-game losing streak with a 67-64 win on Saturday against Bucknell. Simmers scored a career-high 27 points, and Jen Hazlitt had 19 points. Rachel Voss led Bucknell with 21 points. Oh, number three, Jen Dumiak. A highly touted freshman, only seeing seven minutes against George Washington. Not sure if she was injured. Mariah Jones is hammered. Three on the shot clock. George is going to have to heave one. Right angle jumper. Good. She got some space from Jasmine Lynch and scores it. Christian gets that inside position. It's all academic. Right side three by the freshman Dumiak. Performance in the first half for Syracuse than they did against Providence. Four seconds on the shot clock. Creating your own crossover by Dobbs. Finds a wide open Ebony Edwards for three. Fake three by Edwards. Now the three actually taken by Dobbs. It's a deep three, finds the bottom of the net. Right side drive by Edwards underneath the hoop. Finds Kylie top of the key, moves it over right side. Dobbs delivers the three. And American walking away with this one up by 16, 41-25. American went on to win 56 to 43 Saturday against Colgate with 15 points coming from Alexis Dobbs and another 10 from Ebony Edwards. Mariah Jones and Jasmine Lynch led Colgate with nine points apiece. Four games are set for 7 p.m. tip-offs on Wednesday, including a rematch of last year's Patriot League semifinal between American and Lehigh. Both squads are 1-0 heading into the contest that will take place in Washington, D.C. Navy will host Holy Cross and Army will welcome in Lafayette. Bucknell and Colgate will each search for their first Patriot League win in a game in Hamilton, New York. All four of those games will be available on the Patriot League All Access Network, so be sure to log on today and sign up for your season pass. And if you miss any of Wednesday's action, be sure to tune in later this week on All Access for the next edition of Patriot League Roundup. Enjoy the games.